Goose to me is all about history, conjuring up images of Christmas past. So my first stop to find a goose was Hampton Court Palace, where they've been roasting the geese of kings and queens for centuries. To understand more about this grand old bird, I met up with Mark Meltonville, who runs the Palace Kitchens. What's the history of uh, roast goose in Britain? As far as I can tell, it goes back so far, we don't actually know. It's one of those um, dishes that everyone thinks of for Christmas, mm. but it goes back long before Christmas. It seems that we eat geese at the Harvest Festival in pre-Roman times, and I couldn't work out why till I started reading into it. Geese, along with um, leaves, fruits and everything, they disappear. So the leaves fall off the trees, the light goes, and the geese depart. We know they migrate, but they didn't know where they went. And so they became part of the festival of death and rebirth. This is ready now, is it? Yep. Off you go. And Rob's holding it. Lovely. <laughs> There we go. Let's see what we got. So I don't see why more people don't have this instead of turkey for Christmas. No. And what's got me instantly is the amount of juice, not fat, but the amount of juice that's still in there. It's really mm. nice. <clears throat> it is delicious. The long Christmas tradition and amazing taste that comes with goose was clear, but I was no closer to finding one for my meal. Time for a reckoning. We source four geese, all reared in different environments and on different feeds, in order to find my perfect bird. And you get that, like the fat from a grain-fed bird. There's something fruity almost there. Mm -hmm. For me, it's between these two. One of the things that could be really exciting is if we feed the goose on a particular food, can that be tasted in the end result? For me, the tastiest bird came from Essex and the farm of Simon Hughes, so that's where I headed. <laughs> Simon's been rearing birds on a diet of wheat and grass for years and is his own unique way of calling the birds to dinner. Hey, on the geese. Yep. hey, 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 hey. It works. Oh, yeah. look at that. So they get fed now. You've got the, the feed tubs yep. here. What's in there? Uh, that'll just be wheat in those. Are they feeding off the off the land here? Yeah, like, I mean, they're eating the grass. They eat, eat a lot of stones and things out of the ground. You can see that it's all full of holes. So I'm just looking at them eating that <laughs> trailer. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll have a nice bit of undercarriage. Yeah. I'd established that geese would eat almost anything, which is perfect for my plan. The way meat tastes can be affected by the way in which the animal is fed. I had an idea. I was going to feed my geese the essence of Douglas fir pine, which I hoped would make them taste a little bit like Christmas tree. Yeah, those ones. They're gathering around there, aren't they? That's definitely that's the action when they were eating new foods. Oh, I think we're onto a winner there. Yeah. A success. I think it's a definite success, yeah. huh? I'd found that the geese would eat the pine essence, which meant that I could hopefully control the way they tasted. The next vital factor was catching myself a goose. So what's the technique for picking these up then? <laughs> I will get myself, I will get me a goose. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get in Got it? Got it. So we're going to house them somewhere else, in here. So we've made a little grotto. Animals that live in a peaceful and stress-free environment really do taste better. For the next two months, I wanted my geese to have the best life they could, so I built them their own special Christmas home. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Who built that fence? Who built that grotto? <laughs> 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 How is that going to keep a goose in? <laughs> all right, goose, all right, calm down. After a bit of a struggle, I finally got my geese into their new home. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. 
A beautiful sight We're happy tonight Walking in a winter wonderland With the geese happy, I was off to make them some special feed that I hope would make them taste really Christmassy. So the idea is we've actually got the poultry feed, the goose feed. It's 1.6 kilos. And we want to try and get it mixed and stuck to the pine flexorones, so the flavour of Christmas tree. Good old fashioned stuffing, 170. And some of this, which is freeze dried apple. Tell you what, it's got some lucky geese here. We need to eat this. Because if it's good enough for us, it's good enough for a goose. If it's not good enough for us, I ain't giving it to a goose. To the feed ingredients, I also added the syrup, which when heated would hold it all together and make the first ever three Michelin star goose feed. It's actually it's not too bad, is it? Nice. You get the pine, the apple comes through, sage and onion definitely comes through, and then at last in the background, you get the sort of the actual wheaty, wheaty note from the feed. If my geese eat that mixture, they should then taste of apple and pine. The one thing I hadn't realised was just how much they'd actually eat. Almost 20 bags of feed. To make all that, we needed to be working on a bigger scale. 